right, we're going to paint these uh, figures real quick. <clears throat> All I did was stain the little horse, just staining. Uh, Tom stained the uh, bear also, but I want to paint him black. So that won't be a tough decision to make. Just gonna let's see here. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna. I like the little black bears. <sighs> Basically, they're black all the way through. Um, Take him, of course, he'll get, it'll even darken the, the, um, stuff. <clears throat> now, you don't have to paint it like this. You can, you can do whatever you want to. You can put, paint it real fancy or whatever it is. Just like the, the, the horse, you can paint it any way you want to. You can gray with, with, uh white spots or whatever in other words I'm just um, I'm just not uh, going to great lengths uh, you can paint any way you want to all right <clears throat> okay there's our little Black bear, right there, and I'll put a put some eyes on him. <laughs> All right. We got the little bear done. I'll put some little eyes on. Let's do the little fox. Let me get this black off my hands. Uh, Tom used uh, orange and white. I'm going to use a, a red and white. <clears throat> A little red fox. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is just go ahead and paint him like this. Now on the tail you want to leave the tip of the tail, the top tip of the tail, you want to leave it uh, uh, for white, like I'm doing right here. And uh, we're, we're, we can go ahead and do the, the red on the, on the, on the, the feet, and then, uh, then we're also going to, uh, up front here, we're going to have a little white, and on the face, we're going to have a little white. Let me show you. Uh, the book. 
and the way Tom actually did it like this the black feet and then the white here and then the white uh, toward the back and uh, the white on the tail I hope you got to see, see that I sometimes it's kind of hard okay from the side we see that in other words uh, white here uh, white on the a uh, little white on the stomach here and uh, black here white here and underneath the uh, uh, underneath the um, head a little bit okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do this on the feet because the black will since it is such a domineering color it will overtake the uh, the red once it dries so I'm not really concerned too much about that mm -hmm. actually this is a red oxide is what it is I I like the the red oxide and I'm going to just do a little up front here and a little up front there and then I'm going to put a little bit of white on the back back here and of course um, let me see what he does as far as the face is concerned uh, okay he darkens he darkens the uh, 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 the ears a little bit actually what he does is is this is all red in here and then and then up front he uh, he actually uh, uses a little white and then I'll, I'll put a little dark on the uh, uh, little black on the uh, on the nose that'll look good actually this is a little red I think he probably used red uh, and it just looks orange I said um, the white since since it is a uh, it is not a domineering color I'll leave that to paint Alright, let me get a little bit smaller brush and let me get the white and uh, let me see here. There is there's one. Let me dip it into the white and do the tail. get a little bit on the back here all right and we're going to get a little bit underneath the uh
if you use the white thick enough, it will dominate the um, red a little bit. So. Okay, just like that, see? And uh, let's uh, let's get our black. We we'll just had it. Let's. Uh, I kind of wish now I hadn't stained the. Could have could have painted the. Had to stain the. Put a little black all around the the. Uh, there, see? On the ears, on the nose. Okay, just like that. And along the feet, we're going to put some here along the feet. And uh, let me. Uh, some along there, along the feet there, and along the feet here. Try to pick it up where I can get to it. And along the feet there, and there. Come up just a little ways on the feet. And look at that. <laughs> Hit that nose once again. Now, what I want to do is, uh, yeah, I kind of wish I, I would have painted the, the horse a little bit better, but that's all right. No big deal. All right, uh, I'm going to. Go ahead and put the eyes on them. Let me get a. Usually, that smaller stuff, I'll get a needle of some kind. While I'm letting that other stuff dry just a little bit. You know that's a good thing that when you if you're doing real small stuff, get you a needle. This isn't a needle. This is a very very small, uh, uh, a very very small uh, bread, almost like the head of a needle. Look at that, see? Oh, I'm sorry, probably can't see it. The lies on the uh, now on the bear, we're gonna have to we'll have to use a little white in there, or the eyes won't show up. There's a little white here. And a little white here. here go and a little bit more white see the little white there that we have then we can kind of add the little black on the eyes Okay. There it is. Now these are kind of small, so you may not be able to see them very well. There. Yeah, a little 
little bit more white. Bring it out just a little bit more. A little eye. A little black at the top of it. Okay, see? There you go. Get closer. Just add a little black to the top of it. Make the eyes. Okay. And there's our little black bear. And uh, our little uh, fox. Now, let me put a little, just a little white. Fox's eye. And hold on. Yeah, a little black again. There you go. There you are. Little black bear. And now I wish I kind of would have painted the horse a little bit. But that's okay. That's all right. I'm gonna look fine. Okay. Now, uh, that is the painting of our little figures. Real simple, real easy, no problem. I'll antique them a little bit. Then I'll show them to you. Okay? Thank you now. God bless you and we'll do some more.